Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shayla here. So in today's video, I'm going to do a bomb smokey eye. So black owned makeup brands look. I created this smokey eye using all black owned makeup brands. The only thing that I didn't use uh, were brushes. I stuck to the brushes that I typically use. I didn't want to try any new brushes and the makeup looks crazy and it's not like the true look. Do you know what I'm saying? So in this video, I think you guys are gonna find some like favorites. I know I did. There's probably a lot of products like Black Opal, Sasha Cosmetics that you've heard of or maybe you use all the time. I know I'm late. I should have done this video a long time ago. <laughs> it should have been my first video when I did YouTube really. So let's just, let's just jump right in it. I'm starting with the Precision Brow Sculptor from Black Radiance. It has one side that's the brow product, the other side is a brush. I haven't used a brow pencil in so long. You gotta switch it up, got to switch it up. Push through natural brows, hella natural. I'm applying the brow pencil kind of in the same direction that my hair grows which is why I'm kind of coming up here towards the front and then over when I get towards the end of my brow. This is a little bit lighter than what I usually do, but I kind of like it. Sisters not twins. This is Black Opal Heavenly Honey Concealer, which, I don't know, I always see people use concealers and eyeshadow base and I'm like, why don't I try that? And low key, I didn't, I don't have an eyeshadow base. <laughs> so we're just gonna use the concealer, which this concealer is pretty, pretty thick. I feel like it's gonna do well as an eyeshadow base. I just feel it. Yep, yep it is, I know. I can sense it. Yes, coverage. And you can definitely put on your eyeshadow base with your fingers, you know? All right, so I just got the Sasha Cosmetics Matte Eyeshadow Palette. It was $50. It comes with all these matte eyeshadows plus a mirror. I do think that it is a little expensive. I feel like this should be maybe more along the lines of like $30 to $40, you know? I mean, it's not bad. You do get a lot of eyeshadows, but I do wish it was like a little bit more affordable because $50 is a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna start with this kind of orangey brown color in the crease first. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Not too shabby. And this is a Smashbox crease brush. So we really wanna build the crease. I'm gonna add a dark brown on top of this kind of orangey shade. We're gonna do this guy right here. Not mad at that. Maybe fifty dollars isn't that bad. Hmm. <laughs> no, really though. I I mean fifty dollars is a lot, but there is a lot of pigment here. I'm trying to focus the brown in the deepest part of my crease here. I don't want it to come too high because then my smoky eye will be like, it'll be too much. It'll be just way way too much. So I'm just really gonna focus keeping it smoky on the lid and have it transition into the crease. You know which is why I have the brown here, instead of putting black in the crease. If that makes sense. All right, so anytime I do a black smokey eye, I always like to have either a black eyeliner or a black eyeshadow base on the lid first before I put any type of eyeshadow on. So this is a Pat McGrath Black Smudge Eyeliner Coal, and I'm just gonna apply this all over the lid and kind of blend it out. Doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna use a brush to blend it all over. This product is actually pretty matte. You could even wear this by itself. Yeah, I'm afraid it may, I mean, I don't think it'll crease, but I don't want there to be like a line between the lid and the crease, so I'm gonna put shadow over it, but this looks really good by itself. You could definitely get away with wearing this if you're in a rush or if you don't feel comfortable like blending um, a dark black smoky eye. So there's a black in this palette, right, chaw? I'm gonna put this all over the lid and a little bit in the crease. Anytime you do a dark black smoky eye, 
which I used to do this all the time. I haven't done it in a while. I always like to kind of press and pack the color on the brush and then press it into the lid. Press, 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 press. Oh wow, there's not a lot of fallout either, which is really great. Hmm, I'm not too shabby. I barely tap this crease brush into the black eyeshadow and I'm just kind of applying a little bit in the crease just so it looks like it's blending from the lid up, you know. Anytime I do one solid color all over the lid, if it's matte, I'll make sure to put a little bit of it into the crease. Well, that siren's really nice outside. I'm lining my eyes with the Pat McGrath Dual Ended Black Eyeliner. So one end has this kind of marker, I guess like Sharpie looking side. The other end is a little bit more pointed. I actually like the pointed side better. It's a little easier to use. So let's put the lid back on here. Mm, yes, eyeliner. I think a lot of people are intimidated when it comes to black eyeshadow, but I feel like it's like the easiest eye look to do, you know? And I thought there was gonna be a lot more fallout on my face, which is why I didn't do my foundation first, so that's kind of nice. I mean, this palette, pretty, pretty good. If I was starting off, if I didn't have the makeup that I already had, this would definitely be a good investment, the eyeshadow palette. It's expensive, but the eyeshadow quality seems to be pretty good. So I'm gonna add mascara to my top lashes. I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm gonna put my foundation on and then I'm gonna come back to my eyes. I always like to smudge underneath my lash line after I have like concealer and foundation and everything already on. That makes sense. This is a Black Radiance mascara. I think this mascara is like $4. I actually bought this. Even though Black Radiance does send me product, I also bought a couple of their highlighters which I really like. I really like Black Radiance, really good brand. All right, I'm so excited to try this foundation, you guys. Like, I heard so much about Black Opal and I just never buy it because, I don't know, I have a billion other foundations, I just never got around to it. And for me, I'm like, I need to know that it's like the bomb for me to actually spend money. Like, you know what I'm saying? And everyone told me it was good, but then I had to buy it online, I didn't know what color to buy, so that was like the reason why I've never bought it. So I'm really excited to try it out today. <laughs> oh, I put too much on. This is a Black Radiance HD primer. This is kind of like, like a little BB cream almost. I'm not mad at this. I could wear this at the beach or something. Hmm. Maybe with a little bronzer. Alrighty guys, this is the real test. So I purchased five different foundation shades from blackopal.com. And they actually have on the website kind of a guide to help you pick the right shade. But I needed to make sure that I, I, I was like, I can't, I can't miss this opportunity to get this foundation. And I needed to film this video. So I bought five shades. I feel like three of them, honestly, I could wear. Um, one of them was like a little too dark. One of them was a little too light. But, you know, depending on what season it is, I feel like I could wear all of them. I did notice that they had a wide shade range and not everything was the same undertone. So they had like some warm under undertones, some cool undertones. They definitely have a great selection for deeper skin tones. All right, let's see it. Ooh, that just went on like butter. My face, you guys, is a little bit lighter than my body. I'm just gonna put this all over. I'm gonna do this. Oh my God, I can just like feel the greatness. It feels so smooth. Ooh. I know I look kind of crazy right now, but I'm buffing this out with the Smashbox Powder Foundation Brush. Oh my god, this looks so good. Okay, somebody needs to tell Black Opal that they need to send out PR packages to beauty bloggers because everybody needs to try this. And I know that they're more inclined to try it if they send it out. This is really nice though. The texture is super creamy. It's giving my skin like a natural glow. It feels lightweight. I really like this. 
Look at the coverage. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Right now I'm just like adding a little bit more coverage. To see how it builds. This is really good. Wow. Got a winner here. I'm concealing with Heavenly Honey, which is the same concealer I actually use as an eyeshadow base. I'm just gonna kind of blot it on here. Let's see, this is like an interesting applicator. It's like a sponge tip. Can you guys see it? Like a little sponge. I'm gonna use my beauty blender just to kind of blend it in. I'm not mad at this. Always make sure also you guys to put concealer, like bring it down and like I like to put it under, under my nose here, above my lip and like a little bit on my chin. That way it's not like you just have two light, you know, halos under your eye. I also like to bring my concealer all the way to the side of my nose, which kind of naturally, is that straight? Contours it also. I don't know, my nose is a little crooked. Is that straight? Just whatever's left over, I like to put under my cheekbone here. You guys, this foundation is really nice. Like I'm really happy with it. I like that it looks like my natural skin. It's not too um, thick or heavy. For some reason, anytime I've seen anyone use it on Instagram, it always looks super matte. I was afraid it was gonna be I don't know, I just thought it was gonna be a lot thicker. This is, I like it. I'm I'm sorry that I didn't try it sooner. You know, that's how I feel like, oh, I should have tried this sooner. I really like this foundation. And the concealer is really nice too. All right, so I'm not gonna bake under my eye just because I'm afraid that trying something new, it could go all the way left. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm just gonna set my under eyes with the Sasha Buttercup Loose Powder. I think most of us have heard of this. I think it's pretty well known. I always like to dip my brush into the powder and kind of tap off the excess, just so it's not too heavy. And I'm just gonna kind of set underneath my eyes. Oh, that's nice. Maybe I will bake with this. That looks really good. Oh my God. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put my contour on. Who does that? All right, using the Kat Von D number five brush, I'm gonna use this bad boy right here and contour my cheeks. Oh, I'm actually gonna go a little lighter. Hmm, this feels good too. Who like forgets to contour? I was so excited about this foundation, I forgot to contour. Got a contour right up in here, yeah, get up in there. I switched to the Urban Decay brush just cause it's a little bit bigger. Oh, this is nice. This goes on super smooth, super creamy. This is the AJ Crimson um, Artist Kit. I don't, I think it's the darkest, the darkest contour kit. The name's not on the back and I threw everything out. But the AJ Crimson Artist Kit. All right, now I'm gonna go through with the Sasha Cosmetic Buttercup. And I'm actually just gonna put this all over just because I don't think I need like a darker powder. Usually I'll put like a darker powder on the outside um, and a lighter powder on the inside, but this is pretty translucent and my contour is dark enough that I don't need to do that. But I do wanna try baking with this product. I'm using my Beauty Blender to apply, ooh, <laughs> the Buttercup under my eyes. I'm just gonna bake for like a second because my skin's been kind of dry and baking makes it look really dry, so it scares me a little bit. All right, let's go back to eyes before we finish this entire look because uh, I just want my eyes to be finished, you know? This is, this is what I do when I do a smoky eye. I always do eyes, foundation, powder, and then I go back to eyes, finish it off. So this is the same Pat McGrath eyeliner that I used as a base. It's like an eye coal. I'm just gonna line my waterline on the bottom with this and then smudge the black shadow. The same one I use, the same Sasha Cosmetics palette I use on top, I'm gonna smudge underneath. This is the Smashbox Smoky, I call it a smudge brush, it's a smoky smudge brush.
I'm gonna bronze my skin with the Sasha Bewitched bronzer. It looks a little bit lighter on camera. Well, actually, it does look pretty light. I'm hoping that it shows up on my cheeks. This is my first time using it. And I'm just using my little Japanese brush. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, it is a bronzer. So it does go on darker than it looks. Okay, Sasha Cosmetics. This might even be a blush, huh? So I bought two highlighters from Black Radiance. I bought the Flawless and the Rose Gold. You can see one's more like yellow gold, one's more bronzy. So I'm gonna first start with the yellow gold and see how it looks. If it's too light or too dark, I'll add a little bit of this. But I am curious how this looks. I feel like it might even be pretty as a blush. So let me get my little fan brush, y'all. This is the Dosa Colors fan brush. Oh, that's nice. I am not mad at this. Okay, let's try, we gotta try this in. This is the rose gold. You guys know how much I like my highlighters. That's pretty. Let's just go ahead and layer this. Okay, let's add a blush. This is the Black Radiance Toasted Almond Blush. Oh, this is so pretty. So you guys know how I always use cork lip liner all the time, all the time, all the time. So I'm, I'm gonna try something different. I'm just gonna apply the lipstick and kind of smudge it with my finger and then add gloss just to, to, to give that like somewhat editorial look, you know what I'm saying? So this is the Pat McGrath OMI 107 Matte Lipstick. Okay. Just so it's like, it kind of looks like my lips, you know? Like that's just my lip color. This is what they do backstage, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel like such a makeup artist right now. I'm like, mm. I'm gonna finish off the look with the AJ Crimson Chris Lip Gloss. I love this type of applicator, you guys. It's almost like you could like, mm, just put your, go like this and it gets the top and the bottom, you know? Well, I'm gonna do that. I could if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that. Mm. Hmm. I like this. Thank you guys for watching my bomb makeup tutorial. I actually feel like I found some new favorites. The Black Radiance highlighter is really pretty. It's booming. And definitely the Black Opal Nutmeg. Is it Nutmeg? Yeah, Nutmeg Stick Foundation, you guys. I really love the finish. I can't wait to see how it wears. You'll probably be seeing me on the gram wearing it all the time. I was really happy with that find. Actually, I feel like I found a lot of really great products. The Sasha eyeshadow palette, the Sasha butter, where is it? I'm like, where is everything? I don't know everything by name just yet because these are all, for the most part, new products to me, but the Buttercup setting powder, the eyeshadows, actually everything. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not mad at any of this. This is, this was, you know, a really great video. I, I have some new favorites. Yes. <laughs> Let me know your guys' thoughts on this look on the Black Opal Foundation Stick. Have you guys tried it? I should also mention that it's only $9, which is amazing. They need to, they need to start sending PR packages and, and letting all the bloggers try it. This is, this is, I like how my skin looks. <laughs> but comment below, subscribe to my channel, and last but not least, Stratton Slide.